America, the stars were out for the Golden Globes last night and all eyes on Barbenheimer. We've got all the big moments and the early favorites to win Oscar gold coming up on GMA. Titan Lair is here with the big moments from the Golden Globes. Yeah, good morning, everybody. It is the kickoff to award season. Oppenheimer and Barbie were the movies everyone was talking about leading into the night, but that wasn't the only thing people were talking about last night. It was a raucous and fun, star-studded event that reminded us we had some really amazing TV to watch this past year, and it also gave us a glimpse of just who might be getting an Oscar. That was a special speech. And some other big moments last night included Emma Stone winning for Poor Things and Kieran Culkin be beating out eldest boy Jeremy Strong for his incredible role of Roman Roy in Succession. If you watch, you know what I'm saying. As we look ahead to the Academy Awards, Oppenheimer certainly appears to be the favorite, taking on plenty of Oscar gold. That's the prediction right now. The nominees for the 96th Oscars will be announced January 23rd. You can see them live right here on Good Morning America. That's always a fun one. That's always a special morning. There were some great speeches last yes. night. Yes. Very heartfelt. Agreed. Yeah. It was a special night. It was. We'll have the play of the day next. Come on back. My special guests. <laughs> we're having a good time already. I'm with Sterling K. Brown, who's starring in a movie critics are raving about. So are we, by the way. And best-selling author and comedian James Patterson has a new thriller. They're going to tell us all about them coming up on Good Morning America. <laughs> you some pop news. Yeah, Let's can. do it. Good all morning, right. Robin. Good morning to you all. We're going to begin with more from the Golden Globes. Now, we already talked about a lot of fun to look at the fashion on the red carpet there last night. In TV news, it's almost time to check in to the White Lotus. Line is reporting that the multi-generational group of guests will include a patriarch, a female corporate executive, an actress, a country club wife, a misfit, and a yogi. Why not? <laughs> the weirdest hotel on television reopens early next year. Looking forward to that. Always. Also this morning, libraries around the country are releasing their roundup of the most checked out books of 2023. And gotta say, there are several GMA book club picks on the list. We told here the people are going back yes. to a library yeah. like that. I love going. Yeah. The it's Dewey Decimal it. System. Do they? I've heard about a lot. <laughs> I don't think they have those alive well. <laughs> Sterling K. Brown is here live. And best-selling author Gabby Bernstein on Manifesting Your Dream. You heard it there. Welcome back to GMA. Tonight, the Emmy-nominated documentary Pretty Baby Brooke Shields makes its network TV debut. This comes from George and Ali's production company, Bed by Eight. Brooke is so candid in it. Again, it airs tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern on ABC. It is a must-watch. Yeah, so glad it's going to be shown to a whole new audience. Yeah, really it's happy fantastic. About that. Congrats. Thank you. Robin? Yep, because a lot of people are asking about <laughs> There you are. Yeah. Show them some love. I can wave. I know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so as we just saw there, this is a great cast. Jeffrey Wright, Issa Rae, Tracy Ellis Ross. I mean, these are your siblings. Yeah. So if you guys were a real family, okay. who would be the naughty kid? Who would be the responsible? <laughs> Give us the breakdown. I think the casting is pretty much... Yes, that is actor, singer, dancer, choreographer, producer, and director, Tiana Taylor. She is starring in a new movie. That was it. It's called The Book of Clarence. We welcome you to Good Morning America. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Action How are packed. You? This is like not your average <laughs> biblical movie. Tell right. us a little bit about it. Oh, man. It as a dramedy, as a, as a dramatic comedy. Yeah. It, it, it's unlike anything you've ever seen. The red carpet, um, <laughs> you brought two very special guests, your, your children. Yes. They look red carpet ready already. Yes. Another movie that you're getting a lot of buzz for right now, breakout role in 1001. Mm. I mean, there is buzz about about a nomination. Ooh. Have you... Have you contemplated that I also I was very excited about that yeah speaking of range um, you announced your retirement for music in 2020 mm -hmm. however uh, fans got very excited when you posted part of a new song <laughs> Says, oh, love your voice, you. love your energy. Thank, thank you for you being so with much. us. Thank Congratulations on thank everything. You. Thank you so much. And everybody, check it out. The Book of Clarence, exclusively in theaters mm -hmm. on Friday. And we'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone.